Okay, hi, my name is Nikita. So today we will be testing out the in-house device that performs the Bender element test. So start off, we have I will be introducing some equipment here. This is a direct current generator. And here we have a sig pow signal power amplifier. Then we have a PVC capsule that is used to contain the soil sample that we use to test. And finally, we have the 3-in-1 handheld oscilloscope. So for this oscilloscope, we have three different functions. We have an oscilloscope, we have a digital multimeter, and we have a signal generator. So first and foremost, for this bender element test, we will be start by power up this amplifier to make this system work. So for this amplifier specifically, we will need a 228 volts and 2.8 ampere to power it up. So now we will be connecting <coughs> the multimeter into the direct current generator to see its voltage and ampere. So let's do it. So now it is connected. So now we can start this generator up. So back to the multimeter here. First we check about the voltage, direct current voltage. So we have a 28 volts, it is good. Now for the ampere. So of course we need to switch this signal first. So now it shows a 2.8 ampere. So this is good. This means that if I switch on the direct current generator, the amplifier will start to work. So now let's switch off first. Is there any short circuit? Okay. Now unplug this. So for this amplifier, <coughs> signal amplifier here, we have an adapter. So connect this direct current generator into the adapter. Positive to the positive, negative to the negative. Okay. So now, if I turn on this direct current generator, this setup will be complete. So now let's turn it on. So now you can see that this amplifier, the green light is turning on. So this eventually means that this amplifier is working now. So let us talk about this entire setup first. <coughs> the direct current from generator from this generator will power up this device here, this amplifier. This device obtains signal from the signal generator which then it will down amplify a signal a sine wave signal into the transmitter piezoelectric actuator so we will first read the initial signals through channel 1 here and then for channel 2 we will be reading the receive signal across the soil sample. So now let's check about our signal generator. So our signal generator is a uh, 1.6 kilohertz. We set an amplitude of 0 0.9 volts. Now, now the signal is running. So let's go back to our oscilloscope. So of course use the auto function to auto generate a better ratio for the wave analysis. So we can see here, now we have two signals here. So the yellow one means the transmitter signal, while the green one means the receive signal. 
So let's take a pause to analyze the wave. Yeah, let's take a better pause here. So we can see from the table here, our transmitter signal is set to be 1.6 kilohertz. Well, the receive signal now has a 1.4 kilohertz. So now we take the cursor option to analyze the result. So cursor, make sure it is time, and then choose a timeline we wanted. So you can see there's two purple bar here. So we analyze it through the pick to pick method. So the first bar we select here, while the second bar we will select around here. Here should be the maximum point. So from this we can see the time traveling from the receive the transmitter signal to the receive signal will be taking around 152 microsecond. Yeah. So eventually every time you test out this bender element test with you will definitely get a different result because either you use a different size of travel length, tra travel length with different capsule you will eventually use and compare it with different pressure of consolidation pressure, confining pressure and of course you will get a definite re different result also if you test out different soils clay soil organic soil silk soil sand soil you test with different soil of course you will get a different result and that is how Bender Element Test works. So that's all from me. Thank you.